Hello there. Together, let's set up a simple category filter for blog posts. Filtering is a useful way to improve user experience, increase product views, and if you have something to sell, boost conversions. So that you are not limited in what you do, the Quickly Filter block provides the data for a specific query parameter. This means that if you want to filter multiple parameters, you can set up multiple filters that can be placed and designed as you wish, giving you absolute design freedom. We've based our travel blog example on the Folio template available in the Quickly Cloud Design Library, as it contains a filter block and a query, which you can refer to. We are going to build the filter from scratch and then attach it to the existing query. We have set up our post categories in the dashboard. For our travel block, we have three categories, destination, experiences, and travel tips. Here we are in the editor. We have set up a query template to showcase our blog posts. The filter needs to target the categories that the query will be accessing. So, selecting the query block, make sure to toggle on front-end rendering because filters only work when front-end rendering is active. Open the query editor. Select Taxonomy Query and click on the plus icon to add a new taxonomy query. Click to open and name it Travel Query. Set Taxonomy to Categories Post in order to target the categories. You can also filter other types of taxonomies, such as tags or any custom taxonomy you might have created. For terms, toggle on the dynamic icon. Set source to WordPress. Set WordPress to URL parameter, as the filter block adds or removes a parameter in the URL that the query then uses to modify the information that it displays. Set key to category which will be the filter target name. In field, select slug, because by default the filter returns taxonomy slugs, but if you want, you can set it to some other parameter. Copy the query ID using keyboard shortcuts, as we will need it later so that the filter can attach to the query. Now, select the block above the query block and use the quick inserter to add a filter block. Open the filter editor. Paste in the copied query ID. Input category is target, which is the key that we set up earlier for the category taxonomy query. Set filter type to button single in the drop-down, so that only one type of category is selected at a time. Set data source to dynamic, as the filtering data is retrieved from WordPress, in our case all the categories available on our installation. Set data type to taxonomy as we are filtering a category and choose categories posts in the taxonomy drop down. Make sure to toggle on hide empty so that you do not show any uncategorized posts. Let's add a paragraph block inside our filter for our button choices. You will now see the filter items appear. There are three items as we've set up three categories. Before we style our filter, let's set up our dynamic data with the paragraph selected Open Dynamic Values. Set Source to Filter. Set Filter to Name. You will now be able to visualize your category names. Now, let's set up the filter layout. With the filter block selected, in the Layout tab, set Flex Display, Row Direction and Children to Wrap, so that if you have a lot of filter items, they are not forced into one line, but can wrap onto multiple lines. This also helps with responsiveness. Set a line to center and a row and column gap of 18 pixels to let our filter items breathe. In the margin and padding tab, let's add a bottom margin of 50 pixels to separate the filter from the query below. Now let's style the filter items. So selecting the filter paragraph, in the typography tab, set a font size of 1.4 EM in the Margin and Padding tab, set a top and bottom padding of 10 pixels and a left and right padding of 30 pixels. In the Design tab, open the Borders tab and the Radius and Width tab and select a solid border style and an equal 1 pixel width for a thinner border. Let's add an equal border radius of 40 pixels and a light grey border colour. 
we need to set up the relative style that will let the user know which category they have selected. In our case, the button will become black and the text white. Select the filter block and open the Relative Styling tab. Click the plus icon to add a new style. Click the Rules icon to open the Relative Styles rules. Name the new rule Selected Filter Item. Set Combinator to Descendant as we want to target the filter block paragraph. Set Type to Class. Input Selected in the Selector field for the relative style to be active when the user selects the filter paragraph. For reference, the cheat sheet for commonly used relative style rules can be found in the Quickly docs. We now have to set up a rule so that a user can tell which button in the filter paragraph is selected. Click the Rules After Block class plus icon. Set Combinator to Descendant. Set Type to Class. In the Navigator, copy the class of the paragraph using keyboard shortcuts and paste into the Selector field. Now we need to design the relative styling, so open the Relative Style and in the Background tab and the Colors tab, set a black background color. Open the Typography tab and set Text Color to White. Save and check it out on the front end. The user may want to select several category choices at once. In this case, with the filter block selected in the Primary tab, open the Filter Editor and select Button Multiple as Filter Type. Save and check it out on the front end. Or, you may want to show the user how many items are available in each category. To do this, in the Filter Editor, toggle on Count Items and set up your paragraphs within the filter block to display the item count. And that is how you set up a simple category filter for blog posts.